Hey, what's going on guys? Jason here again. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to create this React app, which is a GitHub search uh, app. And basically what it does is you have a search area here where you can search for a specific GitHub user. And whenever you get that user back, it'll render out a card component with the data from that user. So we'll be making use of the GitHub API to do this. We'll also be using the semantic UI React library as well. We'll be using React hooks to uh, build that out as well. So that's the project, so let's get into it. Okay, first thing you're going to want to do is you want to go ahead and install Semantic UI React and Semantic UI CSS in your app. So I set this up using Create React app. Uh, let's see. So if you go into, so yeah, you just need to install those two libraries. And then once you install those two libraries, you can copy this snippet and then in uh, your index.js file you'll basically uh, paste it in there and that way you'll have all the styling for your components okay so let's see all right so in our um, app here uh, we have I already added some code here so what I'm doing is I'm basically uh, creating some state I have I'm making use of use state from react so I have uh, multiple pieces of state like the name username followers following basically all this all this the data will get from the github API so we'll be storing that state in our app okay all right so then let's see first thing we'll do is we will create our um, nav bar if we go to the app so that's the navbar we'll be building. Let's go ahead and build that out real quick. I'll do a div.navbar. And then um, keep it simple, GitHub search. Save that. And our app.css, we will go ahead and add our styles in there. And remember, we're importing app.css, so that way we get those uh, styles for our app component. So if we do in here, if we go in here, we'll do navbar we want to add some padding we'll do 20 pixels and uh, all around background color background color of I don't actually remember the this specific color that I used let's see we'll go ahead and just copy this value whoops there we go there we go. So we have that. All right, nav bar look looks good. Next thing then is the search area right here with this input and uh, search button. Okay, in our app, we'll go ahead and create another div, call it search. And then if we go into Semantic UI React, they have these uh, components that we can make use of. We can go ahead and copy this right there. Copy that. And then I'll need to remove some of this just so we can see what it looks like so we don't get any errors. So we'll remove those properties there. All right. So we save that, go back to our React app. We have some errors. What those errors are is saying that we don't have those components imported. So then we need to import a form, form uh, from React, oh, I'm sorry, React, semantic, React, or I'm sorry, not React, semantic UI React. All right, cool. So there you see our form. Next thing we want to do is we want to, oh, we want to change some of these things up here. So let's change placeholder to search uh, or GitHub user. GitHub user. The button, we will call it search. 
Okay, that looks good. Next thing we want to do then is we want to center that uh, content. So if we do, let's see, I believe I called that div search. So, oh, duh, 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 duh. yep, search. So to center that content, all you need to do is do a display flex on that div and then do a justify content center that will center the um, all that content for you makes it real easy I'll also add some padding of 20 pixels on the top and bottom zero on the left and right there we go next thing then is to add the card div dot card that'll be the name of our class for that div if we go back to the uh, Semantic UI React library. There's this handy card component that we'll make use of. I'll go ahead and copy all of that. I'll just save it, and that way we can see what we have so far. Again, if we need to import some more uh, Semantic UI components. Card, image, and icon. There we go. There's our card. Next thing then, uh, I'll do a similar thing and to center our card. So pretty much the same thing. We'll just do a display flex, justify content center. And uh, I believe that should do it. There we go. We have our card. All right, cool. So next thing we want to do is we want to fetch the data from the GitHub API whenever the page loads, like I have over here. Whenever the page uh, renders, it's loading the component there so then uh, to do that I want to make use of use the use effect hook from react use effect it uh, takes in two arguments takes in a function and a dependency array and then this dependency and we only want to run this use effect one time so we want we don't want to run it uh, multiple times uh, throughout our app uh, that's what this dependency array is for. So if you have something, uh, some value in your component that is updated or it always updates and you want to run some effect after that updates, you can add that value in this array. But for our case, we only want to run it once uh, and that's when the page uh, loads. So once the page renders out the components, then we want to go ahead and run this use effect and that use effect function will make that fetch to the GitHub API. So if we do a fetch in here, and we'll pass, do some backticks in there. Or actually, uh, we don't need backticks. We can just do a string. And let's see, we'll do API. Oh, let's see, API example. So we'll uh, fetch this example user. Go ahead and do that. Uh, this fetch will have, we'll return a promise. Uh, we'll call that res and then we'll uh, convert that res to JSON, have another res, or I'm sorry, another uh, dot then. This time we actually get the data back. And then uh, we can console.log the data just to see what it's looking like. Make sure everything is working. So if we open up our console, you can see in here we have all of this data, which is from the GitHub API for that specific example user. So this these properties we'll be making use of in our app, like the avatar URL followers, following uh, login that's the uh, username and also the name so uh, let's see cool so then next thing I will do I want to create a function I'll call it set data and um, let's see. so this function will basically set the data for our set the state in our app so in here, what we will do is we'll pass or we'll run the set data, pass in that data that we get from the GitHub API. And then in here, in our set data, we want to, uh, from that object, data object, we want to just grab some specific properties like the uh, name, login, uh, followers, following, I believe it's public repos for the repo number and avatar avatar URL. And then 
And here we'll go ahead and set our state. So we'll just run these uh, methods there. So we'll do set name, name, set username. That'll be uh, login, set followers. That will be the followers value set following. Oops. Set repos and then pass in public repos. Last one set avatar avatar URL. All right, cool. So okay, so we have that set up. So whenever we fetch data from the API, we'll run this function to set the state in our app. And the next thing is we want to make sure this component renders out the correct data. An image here, you can remove that. And then you will pass in the avatar value, which is in our state, as you can see right here, avatar. And uh, we'll remove these, we don't need that. Copy that. And then in here, we'll pass in name that will be the name of the user. We'll pass in user name. And in here, we'll go ahead and do uh, for the content. So this uh, section here, we'll pass in the, first we'll do uh, followers. Followers, that'll give us the followers value. And then we'll do uh, repos and we'll call that repos next one will or the last one we'll do follow follow following so the amount of people that we are following cool if you any errors all right everything is looking good sweet okay so we have that initial render populating the data getting the data from the api and the next thing we want to do is just handle this search. So whenever we search for a user, we'll go ahead and display the user that we search for. So then if you noticed here in my state, I have a state piece of state called user input. And so what I'm, what's, what I'm going to do now is whenever I uh, type in this input box, I want to make sure I update that state with whatever I'm typing in there. So I'll create a function to handle that and we'll call it handle search. handle search that will take a event object as the parameter and then all it's going to do is it's going to set uh, set user input and we'll do e dot target dot value okay so that will handle that search whenever we type in there and next thing I want to do is create another function, call it handle submit. Uh, this function will then go ahead and submit our form. Whenever we click search or press enter, it'll uh, run this handle submit function. And what we want to do in here is we want to actually fetch from the GitHub API. Go ahead and copy this. So we have that and we're actually going to change that and um, add in our state from the user input. So whatever the user typed and then we'll do it then res dot res, we'll do res dot JSON, do another then we'll get the data back. And then here, um, so then here then, uh, yeah, so let's just go ahead and do run that uh, function we created. So we'll do set data in there. So whenever we make that fetch, we'll run this set data function that we created to set the data in our state again. So that way we can re-render out the correct uh, user, GitHub user in here. All right, so I think that's good. Let's see if we get any errors so far, nothing. All right, so if we do Rivera 1294, which is my username, press enter. 
let's see. Oh, I'm sorry, I actually forgot something very important. Uh, in your form, you actually have to pass those uh, functions down. So on the input, we have this on change property that will run whenever there's a change on that form or on the input. On change will pass the handle search. And in this form component, there's an on submit property that we can go ahead and make use of whenever we submit and we'll pass in the handle submit function. And that should be good. So then if we uh, pass in a user, my user and press enter or press enter again, we get the card component to update with uh, my user, my GitHub user. So uh, everything is looking good so far. Very cool. And uh, the last thing I want to do is I want to handle whenever we search for an invalid user or user that, a user that doesn't exist to basically display here, uh, instead of the card, we want to display the user is not found. So if you look in here and we uh, search for an invalid user, we get this message not found. So we want to basically just display that message. All right. So whenever we fetch or whenever we handle submit and we get or we fetch that data from GitHub, I'll just do an if statement here and we'll just do if data dot message is true, meaning that if that property is uh, in the uh, data that we get back, that would mean that the user was not found. So we'll go ahead and set uh, error. Uh, remember, I have a uh, error and set error uh, state here. So we'll go ahead and do that. So set error. And we'll just pass the message. Set error data dot message. And if that is true, we'll set the error else. We will just set the uh, data. Okay. So now in here, I want to, I need to then check if there is an error on the on component. So if we do error check, uh, we'll do a ternary operator. We will check for that error property. If that error exists, uh, we want to display, um, let's see, uh, we'll just display an H1 of, uh, what was that? Yeah, error, oh, sorry, that's not right. So we'll do error there. So that error will be whatever we set that value uh, here, which will be user not found. So we'll have error there. And then uh, we'll do another. So if that if there's an error, we'll display that. Else, we'll just render out the card component. So in there, we'll just go ahead and copy all of this. And then we'll do that. Save that. Cool. I believe that should be it. Let's search for a user. So uh, let's do an invalid user. That should be invalid, not found. So that's the message we got back from the API, not found. And then if we now search for a valid user, like Rivera1294, uh, enter. Uh, okay, so it's not rendering out. Let's see where we made a mistake. So, oh, I do, I know where that mistake is. Okay, so in in our data here, whenever we uh, fetch the data, you can see if there is a uh, if there is a uh, error. We want to, if the data dot message exists in that response from the API, we set the error. Else, we just set the data, but we forgot to handle whenever we uh, we search for an invalid user and there was no invalid there was no valid user. The error the set error state has a value. So what we want to do in here, we want to reset that error to be uh, null. That way it resets so we don't actually like continue to have that in our state. So if we save that, do a, do an error there, search, not found. And now if we search for a real user, now we actually get the user with that card component. All right, guys, so that's the project. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.